In the streets of Lisbon. Driving the boat, everybody. Say hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about me, I'm gonna get lost. I got loyalty, got loyalty inside my DNA. Looking corner, please got one ramp piece inside my DNA. I got power, poison, pain, and joy inside my DNA. I got hustle, the ambition flow inside my DNA. I was born like this, this born like this. Evacuate conception, I transform like this. Welcome to another weekly vlog. This week's vlog is going to be a travel vlog. So greetings from Lisbon. I've had a crazy journey. A crazy, crazy journey. But I feel as though I should do a room tour so you can understand where I am and then we can sit down. I'm staying at the H10 Hotel. I think it's also called the One Hotel. This is what it looks like. Actually, this door was closed, but I've already been in the bathroom. But anyway, <laughs> it looks like this when it's closed. Okay, guys, so this is what the hotel looks like when you first walk in. Very contemporary, very modern, very neutral, very excited. <laughs> I have the air conditioning here, a do not disturb, and a button to request for cleaning. Of course, the little hotel key card to operate all the lights. Where should we go to first? Let's open up this drawer. So this drawer is just a closet. I actually think I'm going to unpack even though I'm only here for two nights. I have some slippers. Very, very, very nice. And I think it's really cool that they actually gave me two considering I booked this room single occupancy. I also have some drawer space, a little rack for my suitcase. And then this doesn't actually open, funnily enough. And then this door. Right here is where all the magic happens. Aha, the coffee machine. I have not had a single coffee today. And when I tell you about my day, you will appreciate that. So coffee, some water. I'm always really grateful when hotels have a coffee machine and water. They even have some wine glasses that you don't have to request for. But all this stuff needs to be paid for. And then I have the safe. Great, we love security. And a little mini bar, which you guys know how I feel about mini bars. Not for me. <laughs> and then I think we're gonna go to the room. So this is their cozy secret room. So um, this is the cheapest room that they actually had available. And as you can see, <laughs> it's a very good size. Like I was so impressed when I walked through the door. It's just me. I'm here with a friend of mine and one of her friends. And they're actually sharing a room that's just like this. So I feel really lucky that I actually have this all to myself. This bed looks super comfortable, but I'm not going to lie on it because I know once I lie on it, I'm going to fall asleep. But yeah, I just love how neutral and relaxing everything is. And a full length mirror, hello. Very exciting. I'm going to try and do outfit of the days on this trip. So I'm very grateful for this. And yeah, spinning around. Obviously, I think you can guess what's behind here now. We have the bathroom. <gasps> Isn't this luxurious? <laughs> so everything is a marble, which I'm just so obsessed with. We have this peach toned marble over here with some specks of gray and cream. It's really, really nice. And then we have the darker brown. This and like a green marble are slowly becoming my favorite kinds of marble. So this is everything, single sink, perfect for just me, lots of toiletries. I washed my hands earlier and this water isn't going down. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm supposed to be like, hi, your sink's not working. <laughs> have some hand balm, some hand wash. Again, two robes, which is very nice. It's just me. Little bathroom over here. And no bathtub, but there is what looks like a really nice shower and there we have it ladies and gentlemen my room tour oh the porter also mentioned that they had a hair dryer which i obviously will not be using and something else i think he said 
somewhere. Okay, that's just storage. The one thing that he showed me that I thought was really cool was this. Chargers. <laughs> I think that might be a UK charger, which is actually very, very, very generous. Okay, guys. So now that we are all caught up and you know where I am, let me show you what I'm wearing today, actually, before I fill you in. <laughs> so this is the dress that I got in Nigeria from, gosh, what was that store called? Zephans & Co. So I'm wearing that today, holiday ready. And I have this hat, it's really old. It's from Marks and Spencer's. And I was wearing my Rans. And Melody, who is my friend that I'm here with, you guys will meet her properly later. She was my friend in America that brought my Telfar bag. Is it Telfar or Teflar? I feel like I always say it wrong. I think it's Telfar. And um, with the journey that I had, I was like, please give me my bag. And I can show it to you guys. So I put all the stuff I was lugging around into it. And I have to say, it is huge, perfect for traveling, super heavy. I don't think you can see it properly in this light. I put it over here. There you go. It is so obnoxiously heavy. I don't know how people use this as an everyday bag. Like, that is my one thing that I'm confused about, but I need to unpack at some point. Let's catch up properly. <sighs> Where do I start from, guys? Okay, so I woke up at four o'clock this morning because I was booked on the seven o'clock EasyJet flight from Luton Airport. First time, actually, I feel like I've flown EasyJet before, but I don't remember the last time I flew EasyJet. I want to say it was 2014. Anyway, first time in a very long time flying EasyJet. This trip was super last minute. Melody mentioned this trip to me, I think, last week Wednesday, and we all booked our flights on Friday. Today is Wednesday, so everything's happened in like a week. So this trip was super last minute. Flight prices were insane. I ended up going with EasyJet because it was way more affordable. I think that my flight on EasyJet ended up being £275 return. <sighs> so I ended up booking that, got to Luton, got to the check-in desk, they give me my boarding pass, and they tell me that my seat will be allocated at the gate because they have oversold the flight. I've never heard of this in my life. I was so confused. It's never happened to me before. I had tried to check in the day before and it just kept telling me that my document was invalid. So I assumed that there was an issue with my passport. So I thought that I could check in at the airport and that is what happened when I tried to check in. So the lady at the check-in desk tells me, you know, don't worry, there's like a 99% chance that you will get on this flight. Okay, so flying from Luton Airport first thing in the morning is a madness okay i've never seen a security line that <clears throat> long in my life i was on the security line for maybe 45 minutes so by the time i got through security i had to run to the gate because they were already calling final boarding actually i had enough time just to go to boots really quickly and get a couple of things and then i had to run to the gate literally running through the gate get to the gate there's like a bunch of people on the queue and i get to the front of the queue and they say you know you can't check in until everyone else you can't board until everyone else has boarded because you are sag which is c allocated at gate or something so they tell me to stand to the side and at that point i realized that there are five other people standing to the side sorry four other people standing to the side so it's not just me and at that moment, I knew I wasn't getting on the flight. I'm like, there's no way that there are five unallocated seats on this flight. I thought I was going to be the only person like flying on standby or whatever. Come to find out that there was only one seat on the flight and they had to prioritize someone else who I think had a special circumstance. One of the other people that was waiting was a guy and everyone else were women. And that guy started like fighting, like what the hell, I've been here since X amount. I've been waiting, this is unacceptable, yada, yada, yada. And in the midst of all of his shouting, 
they basically were like, we're sorry, there's nothing we can do. This flight is fully booked. You have to go all the way back to the check-in desk. Yes, guys, go all the way through security, leave this like departure wing, go all the way back to the beginning of the airport and go to the check-in desk. Oh my gosh. I got to the check-in desk, guys. While I'm at the check-in desk, the woman is basically telling me that she can put me on another flight. I'm like, when's the next flight? She goes, 7 p.m. Mind you, my flight, my flight was 7 a.m. 7 p.m. from Gatwick. <laughs> so not just wait for 12 hours, but wait for 12 hours and go to an airport an hour and a half away. Maybe two hours actually away. I'm like, this cannot be happening. At this point, I'm just trying to be calm. I'm like, this is unacceptable. I cannot leave at 7 p.m. and get into Portugal at 10 p.m. Like, that is the, uh, my whole first day is gone. Um, she's like, I'm making sure there's nothing that I can do. I'm like, this is just ridiculous. They gave me EasyJet's customer service phone number. I call them. The story is very long, guys. After I call them, he's like, I can't help you. Sorry, there's no note on your booking. I have to go back to the check-in desk, get the check-in desk lady to put a note on my booking, call customer service again. Call customer service. Okay, yes, we can see the note on your booking. Unfortunately, all I can do is offer you, um, I think at that point he said a flight tomorrow. <laughs> you guys are obviously messing with me. I've read your compensation terms and it says that you can put me on a, a flight on a different airline. I can see that there's a BA flight, there's a TAP Portugal flight, there's a Ryanair flight. Why are you telling me that you cannot get me on a flight? And he's like, okay, I'm sorry. Um, there's, not, there's not much I can do. I can only book alternative flights that are available on my system. My biggest regret, I would say, I'm, t I'm sharing this story so if this ever happens to you, you know what to do. What I would have done before calling him, I should have just gone online and seen what was available and bought another flight. It's honestly what I should have done because trying to work with them was a complete waste of time. <sighs> so I wasn't able to get any help through the customer service. I'm asking him, can you please let me know what your compensation policy is? I want to know what I'm entitled to because there's just so much uncertainty and so much confusion. He's like, I can't give you any information, but I can see on the form that they gave me at the check-in desk that I'm entitled to book another flight on another airline i'm entitled to compensation and i'm entitled to um, wait for easyjet to reroute me to another flight so i decide to go with the ba flight which is so annoying because the ba flight was always the one that i wanted to book originally but i went with easyjet because it was like 200 pounds cheaper <sighs> I ends up booking this EasyJet flight, which ends up being the same flight that my friend Melody is on. I have to get a coach. <laughs> I have to get a coach from Luton to Heathrow, which is about an hour and a half. And then while I'm on the coach, I'm trying to book my flight. So while I'm trying to book my flight, I'm reading through the compensation terms. So I wanted to make sure I was going to be able to cover the price of the new flight with whatever they decide to compensate me with. While I'm in the midst of just double checking numbers, tell me why the flight that was originally 500 pounds sells out and I now only have an option to book a business class ticket on BA, which would be pretty much 700. To Portugal, okay? <laughs> Anyone who's watching this video who's based in London will be so confused. Like people do not spend 700 pounds to go to Portugal, okay? From London. People literally, like Portugal is meant to be a cheap and cheerful holiday where it's like 200 pounds max. According to all the compensation terms, they are supposed to offer me 350 pounds because of the, like my time wasted and my effort wasted. They're supposed to reimburse me for all of my expenses that I've incurred. So that gives me some comfort to go ahead with the booking. So I booked the 700 pound booking. I file all my comp compensation for the coach, the new flight, and then I get to Heathrow. I'm able to get on the flight. It was a really pleasant flight actually because I flew business class and I've never flown business class for such a short term flight before. The food was actually really good. And overall it was, you know, just, I was just so happy to actually finally land here. But I say all that to say, oh, and EasyJet also refunded me for the first leg of my flight. 
So right now they've refunded me 187 pounds and my total flight on BA was 680 something. So right now I'm out 500 pounds, 500 pounds and half a day. I was meant to get here at nine. I didn't land until like four. So there's that. All the things I wanted to do this morning, obviously not able to do that. I'm just really, 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 really trying to make sure that this does not ruin my trip. There's no way it's going to ruin my trip. I'm not going to let it. I've had three glasses of champagne already. <laughs> I'm so determined to just enjoy my trip. But guys, I've had a whale of a time. There's so many times where I just felt like crying because I was just so frustrated. I'm so tired. I woke up at 4 a.m. this morning. It's been such a stressful journey to get here. And there was a time where I was thinking about just canceling everything altogether. But I've already paid for this hotel room and I'm not going to get my money back. So I'm like, you know what? There's no point in doing that. Here I am in Lisbon, <laughs> finally. Melody, who I'm going to introduce you to shortly, she's actually booked dinner for us at seven and it's already 6.15. So I actually have to get a move on and get ready. And her other friend, whose name is Kendall, she is flying in on British Airways, but her flight was at 3.50. So she should hopefully be meeting us at the restaurant. So that's the plan for today. We're going to get dressed to go to dinner and I'm going to get lots of coffee because my energy, guys, I could actually just go to bed and start my day tomorrow, but I've come too far to let that be the way I go out. I'm looking at myself at the monitor like, oh my God. So yeah, next few days we are in Lisbon. Right now I have a flight booked on British Airways to leave on Friday at 7.10 with Melody and with Kendall or I could stick to my original EasyJet flight and leave at 9 p.m. which obviously gives me an additional day here so I'm going to see how I feel after a good night's sleep because I've made too many decisions <laughs> I've made too many decisions today my ears haven't unblocked from the flight I don't even know what the Wi-Fi is here This is exhausting. Please connect. I just want to listen to some music. <laughs> okay, guys, I have like no time. I have not had enough time to get ready, but I'm going to show you my outfit really, really quick. This top is from Zara. These trousers are from Belanger Leak in Nigeria. I'm wearing my Hermes Orans. And I'm going to take this bag from Zara. Really simple, really casual. What did my makeup in like two minutes? Okay, let's go. <laughs> We're so tired, like we both had very long journeys here. But this place is so beautiful. Best sellers, okay? Truffle linguine. This is awesome. Okay, if you like pasta and cheese and truffle, this is amazing. Octopus carpaccio is amazing. For me. Wow, like you for me personally, it's one of the best dishes here. Okay, I'll try. Uh, the katsu nuggets are out of the box. Like it's a different kind of nugget, but it's amazing as well. Yeah. In the meat, in the meat part, we have the lamb lollipop that is deep, deep fry, and it's amazing as well. Okay. The chef's tenderloin comes with sauce, and it's good as some as well <laughs> so uh, if you like fish the black cut for me is the best fish dish no, okay. but I'm gonna get this I like the yeah you made it sound good
Melody, what's the name of the place that we're going? Red Fork Frog. Is that it? So we just finished up at dinner. It was really, really nice. What would you rate the restaurant, Melody? Kendall said she was. Four. Five? Maybe three. Out of, out, of, out, of out of five? Out of ten. No, out of five. Okay, out of five. So, so that's eight. an eight out of okay, ten. Okay, yeah, yeah, we gave it an eight out of yeah. ten. I thought you were saying four, four out of ten. Four out of ten. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. I was like, a solid four out of ten. I was like, what does a, what's a solid four? Solid. <laughs> so now we're going to some speakeasy bar that Melody found. What's the address? Called... Yeah, I swear he didn't take us to the right place because on the map it still said it was a minute away. He was just like, He's out. like, you guys are talking too much. Yeah, exactly. Get out. Exactly. Yeah, it's a three minute walk. Wait, He's such a liar. Two or two minutes or or Yeah, it's saying it's this way, guys. Okay. Wow. Well, okay. Like, in the streets of Lisbon. Okay, wait, yeah, um, yeah. Trying to find the bar. All right, I'm like trying to. Well, Midnight adventure. <laughs> Oh, it's pretty. It was dark. It was like, this is it. No, literally, I saw it on the map. The map was still saying one minute away. But I was like, this guy seems like he has a temper issue. <laughs> Turn right onto Avenida de Libertade. If not the lives, it's so fun. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Nothing wrong with that. It's saying this next right on mine. Okay. Have you got the same? Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh. It is? We don't know. Melody? Secret door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here you go. Thank you. Here, you take a picture with all the drinks. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Yes, thank you. Over here. Thank you. Okay. And on the top you have. Um, <laughs> Cherry, which is made with apple and cherry. Put on my camera. Yay. Oh, that looks so Welcome to day two in Lisbon, our official first day. I had the best night's sleep yesterday. This bed is so incredibly comfortable. Um, when we got back from the bar last night, I literally just took a shower and passed out. Mm, the first one, I didn't know how to operate the machine properly. So this is a lot better than the first one I made. Today we have the Tuk Tuk tour. And then I think we are actually going to separate after the Tuk Tuk tour because I want to do a bit of exploring in the city centre. And I know Melody and Kendall want to go check out this um, Michelin star restaurant that actually looks amazing. But for me, like there's only really so much like fine dining I like to do. <laughs> and we're already going to a really nice restaurant for dinner. So I said that I would just sit that out for lunch. If anything, I think I might check out the Time Out Market in the city wander a little bit maybe head into zara because i really like zara's outside of the uk i feel like they have cooler more interesting stuff and it's also a lot more affordable i was so strict on like trying not to overpack and now i feel like i may have not packed enough options but it's okay it's actually okay i was able to get a refund on my easyjet flight my f inbound flight but they didn't refund me on my outgoing flight i hope what i'm saying makes sense so basically i still have my 9 p.m flight that i had booked so i think i'm actually going to use it because i was able to check in they're not accepting my passport but they let me check in so i think i probably could have done that on the way here i just didn't know how to do it on my phone so definitely seems to be a bit better on your actual laptop which is what i did today melody actually brought my trainers my metcon 4 trainers and i feel like that'll be a bit more comfortable than trying to walk around in my rams this city everything is cobblestone and it's quite hilly 
So even though the tour we're doing is on a tuk-tuk, I just think after when I want to like explore a bit, trainers will be more comfortable. So I think, I think I might go with my shorts, this skims, bodysuit, and I have two shirts that I can wear as cover up, so. All right, this is what I'm wearing, guys. Oh, this battery's about to die. Have to check, have a spare. But yeah, very simple. I'm just wearing this white shirt, my Skims bodysuit, and my denim shorts from Zara. I also have my Arans on. I still haven't decided if I want to take wear my um, trainers or not. I'm still trying to decide, but I think for now, this is gonna be the look. I'm also going to wear some sunglasses, which I think I already have. To put in here i just want to be casual and comfortable and um i think at some point i might need to come back which i think i've told you guys already to get ready for the beach club if i end up going to that okay perfect i have a full battery so that's great i'm going to leave that here and i think we're just gonna go i'll get my trainers for melody and wear them another time i think oh perfume i only brought samples you guys know how i do for quick trips I tried to use up some of my Delina Exclusive yesterday and it wasn't coming out. Let's see, I've got some Delina. Oof. Yeah, I think these spray bottles are not the best. Like, once it gets to a certain level, it just stops spraying. Very annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, ladies, go in, go in, go in. Isn't this cute, guys? Our little tuk tuk tour. Three. <laughs> Three people back here, it's I see three seatbelts. You can do a three. Yeah. What we are going to do is the old city. It's going to be like a little bit like a rolling a roller coaster, okay, up and down all the time. Mm -hmm. I will try to show you, of course, the viewpoints, but I will try to show you also a different Lisbon, a different old city, okay? okay. If I go to London, I want you, I want you to show me London the way I will show yeah. to you. <laughs> but I've been in London, but it's always raining. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> are you ready for the roller coaster? Yes. yes. I'm so excited. Yeah. Yeah. Say hi, guys. <laughs> 55. Mm -hmm. You know what happens? No, I was gonna have Earthquake 9.2. Oh, wow. Tsunami and fire. So oh, everything wow. was destroyed. All that in 1755? On the same day. You know, the fire was on the 1st of November, the day of the dead people. This mm. was full of candles. It's insane. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look, you see the lamps right there? Yeah. The lamp on, the, on that side, for yeah. example. That lamp has eight sides. Eight. Uh huh. Uh, which means that's the most important lamp. Since the earthquake, the importance of the street is measured by the lamps. Okay. The more sides the lamp has, the more important the spot is. And here we are downtown. 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 And ladies, I, I also recommend you to go to that spot. Pinocchio. What's that? Pinocchio, the restaurant. Pinocchio. Uh, Pinocchio is very, good. Very close to our restaurant. It's amazing. Part of the old city. Which means it's the back of the castle. Okay. Everything that goes on the back, it's not good. So typical door, uh, typical apartments, little doors and stairs like this. So, oh gosh, no. Yeah, yeah you will see, you will see. And look, you cannot imagine how this how was the mess of this street like 15 years ago. What you do is see the back. But the back of the castle was all, always the forgotten part of the old city. Castle in 1142. And when we go to the castle, that we explained to you. You said they conquered the castle in 1142 or 1742? 42. 1, 1142. 1142. Okay. And we will conquer the castle to the Moorish people from the ones from the north of Africa. You, were, you conquered it from the north, the, the from Moorish the people. The Moorish. The oh, yeah. The Moorish. And we, we will conquer the castle with the help of the, the British Crusades. Ah. And their saint is St. George. That's why it's called the St. George Castle, in honor of the Crusades. Wait, so the Moorish people built the castle, yes. and then the Portuguese and the British people got together to take it from them. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. No, I didn't know that. I didn't, oh. You know, when they're, look here, the look Crusades here, look here. are all against look the Moorish here. people. And look here, and this neighborhood on the back of the castle, on the back of the castle is called Moridia. Moridia, okay? Moridia. Can you repeat? Moridia? Moridia, perfect. Moridia, okay. Why is it called Moridia? 
because okay. the word moriria became from the Moorish people. Ah, ah okay. moriria. Send away of the Ivory Peninsula, or they were put on the back of the castle, not to be seen. Uh, so this is why this is a bad city? Ex that's the why it was historically the poor, the, 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 the neighborhood that was not, not, not meant to be seen. Because when you arrive to this, when you arrive by the river, you never saw the back of the castle. You only see the front of the castle. So we make sure you will see the back of the castle. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> when uh, we have the discoveries, when we found everybody goes that way. What we are going to do is exactly the opposite way. We are going for you, for you, for me. I will make sure you will know more than you. Okay. Come here, ladies. Thank you. Yeah. Because like in other places where... Hi guys! <laughs> We had an issue with the tour because we're in Old Lisbon and one of the trucks just blocked our tuk-tuk like one car here will take up the whole road, see? <laughs> so we just got off I was going to do some exploring It's so interesting around here Let me show you guys around Yeah, I love it Yes, this is typical of Lisbon you Remember when I told you to take a picture? The difference, yeah this is what people live with. Yes, the regular people, yeah. Oh, yeah. And look here. Oh, wait, so this those looks doors, really pretty yeah, yeah, to me. Those though. doors are so small, like wow. for short. Can you, can, can, you, can you tell me why? Why the doors are small? Yeah, can you tell me why? I don't know, I have a dumb answer. <laughs> no, 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 no. But I don't know. It's easy. It's really easy. Were the people small? I don't know, short? Yeah, that, that's, a, that, that, that's a typical. But the main reason is it's easy. It's much more easy for you to defend your house, difficult for me to attack. If the, the door is super small. Keep it simple. If oh. you want to attack both at the same time, you cannot. One, one at a time, you see? Mm. Yeah. How also, yeah. here is this. Our tip, you know, you know our song, which is the father music, father song. Mm -hmm. I don't know anything about history. It's our typical song. Okay. That's the, the at night, it's father's the night, and, and in Moriria, Moriria, What's the name of the neighborhood? Moreria. Very good. Yeah. Favo. A tribute to Moreria. Moreria is the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Maris is the lady. Okay, so we came to this place to try our bees. This is where Tiago recommended us to come. Oh, I can get coffee as well. Powder with sugar? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're trying the pastel natas. One pound twenty each. Or one euro twenty. You guys like already know I don't eat dairy, so this should be interesting. It's all right. It's a lot of cream and it's quite flaky. Mm -hmm. It's fine. It's just it tastes like custard. Yeah. And I don't really like custard, but I like the pastry. Yeah. But and you and you dairy. <laughs> but it was nice to be able to, to at least know what it tastes like. Sure. You sure you don't want to try it? You're not curious? Mm -hmm. It's like a cross up with like custard in the middle. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright guys, we're at the Time Out Market. We're gonna go see. Having a lot of fun. Today is just going to be a chill exploring day. So we're going to see what they've got over here. Oh, you can't even see me? <laughs> Look at these guys. 
<laughs> an ignorant thing to say, but. This actually reminds me of Box Park in London. However, all the vlogs that I've watched have said that the food here isn't great. So we're just here to look around, maybe get like a little something, and then I'm gonna head into town, I think. Ooh! Got some cakes. So the girls have gone to lunch now um, like I told you guys earlier I'm not really first of all I still feel really like not full but like still a bit like I don't want to have a rich lunch right now this is the traditional markets like fruit and veg and stuff I think we've seen enough of the market I'm gonna walk towards Zara and see what I bump into I forgot to pack my headphones Zara's a 15 minute walk so I think I'm just gonna stroll down to Zara and see what I come across on my way Guys, it's so nice and hot here. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> you guys know how I feel about the heat. The weather, just so that we're all on the same page, the weather here is 25 degrees. Oh, it's so beautiful. So um, I'm just walking to Zara. Let me show you what the streets look like. It's really beautiful. I was in this square just now. I don't really know what any of this is. I think around there is like Old Lisbon, if I remember the tour that we just did. Okay, let me pay attention because I need to try and cross the street. Hold on. Okay, so heading to Zara. I'm hoping that around Zara they'll have like some other shops. I just want to do a little bit of shopping. Then the plan is to go back to the hotel, drop off all my shopping, get a new battery for my camera. And um, yeah, head out to the beach spot. So that's pretty much my plan for today. I still feel a bit tired and a bit rough because I had so much to drink yesterday for me. <laughs> I can't remember how much I had to drink yesterday. So I uh, want to just laze around today. There's still a few touristy bits that our tour guide recommended that we do. But the girls are actually leaving at 7 a.m. tomorrow so they don't have enough time. So they, they just wanted to go check out that restaurant whereas like I mentioned earlier I'm kind of I don't need any rich food right now. So that's the plan. I hope you guys are enjoying my little solo adventure day. <laughs> Let me show you around. I need cash, but I don't really know if these like ATMs are safe to use. Probably not. So many squares like this. <laughs> One thing I will say is this is not the right city to wear sandals and walk, like you need trainers. And it's so annoying because I had my trainers, but I just, <sighs> I thought the sandals looked cuter. But I'm kind of regretting that right now. So definitely make sure you come with walking shoes if you're ever here. But yeah, I really like the city. I feel like it's um, really chill. This shop, this is the name, it was right next to Zara. They had so many of these like nice maxi knit dresses that I've been kind of wanting to get my hands on and they're so cheap, they're like 30 euro and 25 euro. So let's try some on. So I actually kind of like this. I think it's really like cool for just like a chill day. I'm back in my hotel room. 
I had a very, 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 very tiring day out. I think it's because I'm quite dehydrated. I've only had like a really small bottle of water that I had at the Tuk Tuk this morning. And then I got that little sorbet. I think I recorded a bit of it so you could see. This is the dress that I picked up from Stravadius. This is the first thing I've ever got from that brand. I've just put this on because I've made a booking at the jacuzzi in the spa. Well, it's called a relaxation pool. We'll see what it actually is. And I just wanted to put this on over my bikini. This is the code of the dress if anyone's interested. I did try it on in the small and it was too tight around the armhole so I got this size. I really like it. I think it's really comfortable. And then in Zara, ugh, I got so tired in Zara, I ended up just getting these earrings. I need some silver earrings. You'll see why soon and I thought these were really nice. And then I just got this dress. I didn't want to go too crazy. To be honest, all of the stuff I picked up just didn't fit, but I didn't want to go too crazy because I don't have a full suitcase with me on this trip. But this is the dress I got. You probably can't see the detail too well, but it's got this really nice um, lace around the waist and around the bust area. And it's a really good length on me. I just love wearing white in the summer. This is the code for anyone who's interested. If I can find a link to it on the website, I will let you know. Actually, let us let me show you guys something in case you don't know. When you're in Zara, you can actually scan things to see if it's on the website. You have to have the Zara app. You go to the search button. I hope you guys can see. And then you click on the scanner thing on top. And then with this, you can scan any label in the Zara shop. And then the item will come up online. So this dress is 45 pounds in the UK, 45.99 in the UK, and I paid 35.95, which is probably about 30 pounds. So Zara is so much cheaper in Europe. I will say the people in Lisbon are really really nice. Like compared to all the European cities I've been to, the nicest people so far have been in Barcelona and Lisbon. Here, like everyone we've come across has been super friendly, really nice. The wait staff's really nice. In Zara, I asked for a size of a dress that wasn't on the shop floor and someone actually went to get it for me. Now, someone might say that's what they're supposed to do, but in London, no one does that for you. It's just whatever's out is whatever's out. So it's always really nice when you get that kind of service here. I will say I highly regret walking around in my Hermes sandals all day. That was a really bad decision to make. I really want to see if I can hopefully do some luxury shopping tomorrow. We'll see if I have time. These are my Nike trainers. My lady brought them over this morning. I want to see if they fit. Not that I have much of a, <laughs> I don't have much of an option at this point. They kind of have to fit. Well, the shoes feel okay, which is great. Oh wow, they're very cushiony. All right, I have about 40 minutes, I think, until my spa slot for the pool you have to book the pool in advance here um and i want to see if i can get something to eat because i haven't eaten so let's head out i'll take you guys with me i really want to take a picture here <laughs> i don't know when that's going to happen Set up my water bottle with some water and ice. So nice. This is my sunscreen. I'm going to spray myself. When I was walking back, because I had to go back to put all the spa stuff away, this guy literally was walking around with the falcon. I really like the sunscreen because it it's um it dries invisible like it doesn't leave a weird cast on your skin
sweets here. Got a Caesar salad. So guys, if the framing is bad, I apologize. It's so bright, I actually cannot see what you can see. Even with my glasses, it's really, really bright. Um, I've just ordered a mojito, about to eat my salad. Let's see if it's any good. These fries look really good. They're like, they're from real potatoes. So the plan for today has changed like five times. <laughs> I think, um, when you're just doing a weekend trip it's really easy to try to book too many things and i think that's what we tried to do today so the beach thing has pretty much not happened because we wanted to do the boat thing but because i still have the f a whole three days tomorrow i could potentially still go to the beach tomorrow if i really wanted to i forgot to tell them no cheese <laughs> I like cheese tacos. I feel like no matter where you get them, it always tastes the same. <laughs> and I really just wanted something light because I'm still, I don't know, I think because I've been eating quite um, like healthy food. Yesterday's food was just really, really rich for me. Walking or they are from this city and they are using the elevator. Oh, what is that? It's they a free the elevator that you can get from the old town oh. coming down. Greetings the from my bed. <laughs> back from the boat tour it was so lovely i'm so tired though and we still have dinner and drinks booked <sighs> i'm not gonna lie i can very easily just stay in and sleep but I'm going to be a trooper that's the plan anyway <laughs> but um yeah the boat tour was lovely i'm definitely going to leave the companies that I've booked these tours through today in my description box because I think that they've both just been really good. And I was trying to say on the boat, but I don't know how much of the audio you would have been able to hear, but they weren't expensive at all. The sunset tour that we booked was like 33 pounds per person and the tuk-tuk tour I think was about 26. And the tuk-tuk tour was private. So 
it's really good but obviously that's because we were three if it was just a one person or two it would be more expensive Kendall was actually able to move her flight as well so we're both going to be together until about lunchtime tomorrow which is quite nice I think we're going to go to like one of the local Portuguese seafood restaurants that the concierge here recommended which I'm really looking forward to we're having Asian again tonight and I don't know my tummy has just not been feeling right since I got here I think because I just haven't really been eating clean the way I've been eating when I'm back home. My stomach's just like, yo, what's going on? And I also think I've been having way more dairy than I would normally have. Just in like the pasta I had yesterday, the dessert I had today. I had these like yogurt balls that they left in the room as well today when I was like back from shopping. I was so starving. That was like the only thing that was here. I had cheese on my salad. So it was actually been quite a bit of dairy. I need to make some space on this card one second. But yeah, anyway, I need to save some space on my um, memory card. I didn't bring a spare one, so it's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit of a struggle. But yeah, we have dinner tonight, um, drinks as well. I don't know like what's really going to happen. I was going to change because I have one more dress that I could potentially wear. But honestly, I'm just not really in the mood. I'm really not in the mood to do any more changing. I've already showered like four times today and I'm going to shower when I come back. Okay guys, so I decided to change <laughs> because I have this dress, so why not? If you guys recognize this dress, it's actually, let me just show you quickly. It's actually like this, <laughs> but because I wanted to wear this on top, I just folded it in and I actually think it works. Like I've said a thousand times in this video, I feel super bloated. So I just feel like I need a bit of extra coverage and I just feel a bit more comfortable with this on top. I've touched up my makeup, but it's quite dark in here, so you might not be able to see. And I'm thinking I'm going to wear my heels because this is the last dinner of the trip, so I might as well go all out. So yeah, I'm gonna do my lips in the Uber and I will take you guys to dinner. So guys, you can kind of see my outfit a bit better in the lift. So yeah, these are my shoes. I'm just waiting for Melody and Kendall, I'm the first one down. This is the lobby in the hotel. And also, you know what I noticed? That sideboard, I'm pretty sure that's from Maid. <laughs> Holding on for my dear life. I think this is a fortune cookie. Yes, it is. Can you take one? Oh, okay. Heading to the gym. 
the food I've eaten on this trip, the alcohol I've drank on this trip. It's been a lot. And um, I was hoping I could get two workouts in this trip, but it's fine. I got one in and I've been doing so much walking, so it's actually fine. I love the way I always start walking in this direction, even though it's clearly not the right direction. How do I get to the gym? The gym? Okay, how do I get to the spa? Okay, this is nice. I think this is like where you can have breakfast outside. Oh, okay, I can see yes. the sign. <laughs> you have first door, yeah. less, mm -hmm. and next. Okay. So, right. All right, thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. Okay, here we are. What did she say, you guys? She said first door, turn right, right? Guys, do you remember what she said? <laughs> I think she said first door, turn right. <laughs> One thing about me, I'm gonna get lost. That's one thing about me. <laughs> this does not look like a gym. Oh gosh, what did I do? What is happening? This is definitely not the gym. Okay, let's go back. I love how neutral everything is. Like, doesn't this give you like, like century? Oh, I got pictures yesterday. Wait, there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> I got pictures in the hallway before we went to, hold on, before we went to the boat tour. So hopefully they should be up. I didn't really love my outfit, but it was the only thing I could put together with what I brought. Hold on, what have I done? I'm so confused because I definitely walked down here So I must have at some point passed the door, which must have been here. Yeah. All right. Please feel free to use our 24 hours fitness room door on the left. Right. <laughs> okay, not snacks. Yay! I will be having these. I haven't been going to breakfast. <laughs> I haven't been going to breakfast. So these don't look like they have any protein though. They're just cereal bars. And I hate green apples. Anyway, this is a gym. Not much, to be honest. All right, we're gonna have to do a time lapse, guys, because I'm gonna get copyright with all this music. not give me a late checkout <laughs> their idea of a late checkout was half an hour so um Kendall I don't know if I mentioned that Kendall changed her flight so she's leaving at around three now she was originally meant to leave with Mel at seven but she changed her flight because 
that was a brutal schedule so um yeah i'm just waiting on her to let me know when she's heading to the lobby and i will do the same we're going to grab lunch together and then she needs to head to the airport and i still have like a really long time to kill so what i ended up doing is i moved my spa appointment to five so i have pretty much the whole day to do a little bit of shopping i wanted to go to hermes and maybe try on those gucci loafers as well and just see how i feel and then i'm going to come back lay by the pool do the spa thing have something to eat shower get ready for my flight and that's pretty much the plan for today so today is just a chill relaxing day and i'm very grateful for it i'm going to do just last minute checks i think i've got everything to be honest so today's a trainer day like my friends literally like did not work out for me yesterday. My feet hurt so bad with all the walking I was doing and on these cobblestones. So this is my outfit for today. I'm wearing the dress I got from Zara yesterday. Absolutely love it. I'll have it linked down below. And I'm wearing my trainers and my hat, which is from Marks and Spencers, but it's very old. I have my carry-on over there. And this is my Teflar luggage bag. You could probably hopefully see it a bit better now because I don't think I showed it to you properly. It'll be over here. It's the large size in black. I love it. I think it's really perfect for traveling. However, I can tell that it's not going to keep its shape. It doesn't have a lot of structure. This is my first Teflar bag. Telfar bag. <laughs> it doesn't have a lot of structure. But honestly, like I'm only planning on using this for traveling. So it's come in handy. I just hope I don't have a hard time with this bag on EasyJet, because you guys know how these budget airlines on are. It was perfectly fine to use on British Airways. Moral of the story with this whole trip. Well, I mean, we'll see how the flight goes today, but moral of the story with this whole trip is I don't think I'm, I don't know. I, I feel like the budget airline days need to be behind me. because I just cannot deal with the stress. I will say though, like the main reason why this ended up being the way it was is because we booked this trip so last minute. But I already know, like, I'm hoping that I can book some more holidays this summer. I really need to, like, get serious about it because the flights are just going up and up. Like, it's already peak summer season here in Europe. While I was at the gym, housekeeping came in and cleaned my room, which I thought was really nice because I'm checking out today. I didn't expect that they were going to come in and make my bed and clean the room. I guess I was watching this, like, duh. But maybe, I mean, this is a five-star hotel and I haven't actually, like, experienced that before anyway. So I thought that was amazing. Um, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Yeah, guys, I'll probably pick you guys up when we get to lunch. Because I don't have a lot of battery or memory card space, actually. So I'll check in with you guys later. This is nice. You can just, like, read. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. This is what you were saying. Mm -hmm. no, I was not expecting this. I know. And it's like, here's the restrooms. <laughs> On your way to the restroom. You can buy some art. Like, this is the type of art I would probably have that is in my pretty. house. That is pretty. Yeah. Ooh, I like the sculpture. 3,800. How much is this painting? Oh, this 2,000. I don't know enough about art to know if that's a good price or not. I don't know. <laughs> they're probably all, you know, obviously they're probably local artists. Mm -hmm. I have something like that in my home. Mm -hmm. I actually did purchase my first piece of artwork. Oh, yay! I'm just like, now that love is around me in my life, and yeah. I can't get it. The artwork is a piece of, you know? Wow, this is a proper gallery. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like the colors. Mm -hmm. That's like abstract. Like, well, I yeah, like I like abstract. abstract. Art. Oh, someone's bought this one. Wow. I really like this one. And I also really like this one, actually. Yeah, I think I prefer this one. 2,400. Oh, they have a little thing for you to put your bag. That's so cute. I know, that's like I've never really seen that smart. before, yeah. Well, before I used to have like this little bag hook so you could put on the table, but they're always a bit of a nuisance. Yeah, and it's always hard to find them. I'm the one to open them here. Yeah. Like, where is the English is on the second and oh, third page. Okay. Oh, they've even got, oh, that's nice. They have so many different languages. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, we're in this restaurant called Pinocchio. It's like two minutes from our hotel, and it's meant to be a really good Portuguese seafood type place. It's my date. 
and what are you thinking? It's so the funny. roasted codfish. So funny how I was saying, oh yeah, I'm just going to get <laughs> fish and vegetables and I'm like, ooh, paella! Oh, yeah. <laughs> successful do you want to put down in the comment section what color of rands you think I got if you've watched my summer wish list video you will know what colors I was thinking about so let me know what color you think I got so I'm back at the hotel now I've picked up all my luggage I was a little bit concerned about what the situation would be because my flight back home actually got delayed like <laughs> never fly easyJet again I have so much to tell you so my flight back home got delayed um, they have reimbursed, well, they've agreed to reimburse me for my BA flight that I had to book here. I wish I had booked an afternoon flight for BA and just gone with BA. I don't know why I booked a 7 o'clock in the morning flight on BA because that's the only reason why I've waited this long to fly back with EasyJet because I didn't want to leave at 7 in the morning. I really hope I'm explaining this properly. But anyway, um, my 9 o'clock flight back home, which is already quite late actually, <laughs> has now been delayed to like 10 30 so i'm keeping an eye out on the time and obviously that just means i have more time to kill on this side of my trip but i was a bit concerned about what i was going to be doing until nine o'clock ten o'clock but i had booked my spa thing at five like i told you so i got back to the hotel around 4 15 and i just came up to the spa and they're giving me this little private area which is really really amazing i have to show it to you guys this really whole experience has really taught me like the benefits of um booking a nice hotel <laughs> i have a sink a mirror like this door i think there's a lock on the door. i'm not sure but anyway this whole area is my private area i have a private toilet not much to write home about but again it's private and then i have these private lockers for my stuff my luggage I've brought here and then this door actually has a lock on it. I use this bracelet to unlock the door. I've just held it open because I was feeling a little bit claustrophobic here. And then I have like an area to dress up. There's a hair dryer, some body cream and a shower. Like the shower was bigger than the shower that was in my room. <laughs> so I have everything that I need to freshen up after the spa, which is amazing. So I haven't booked a treatment. I just booked the relaxation pool. The weather's been really bad today, but well, not bad. It's great compared to London, but it's cloudy. It's not hot. I was hoping I could like lay out by the pool. I might still do that. We'll see how it goes, but it's really not that warm. It's not lay out by the pool weather. But anyway, enough yammering on. I'm going to unbox my rands. Because I only came here with a hand luggage, I unfortunately am not able to take this beautiful box back with me. But it's fine. So I'm going to do an unboxing here for you guys. You can guess what color I got. Well, let me tell you a little bit about the shopping experience. So the Hermes here is really small. But when I got in, it was like full of people just waiting around to be seen. It was quite busy. I think I waited for like half an hour to be seen. But then I was looking for the shipper sandals for Miriam and some Izmir sandals for her brother and the Orans. And the only thing they had were the Orans. They had them in black and in white. I'll put in the clip so you can see because I got to try on one of each. And now you can guess what color I got. Apologies if the lighting is a little weird, but I'm gonna have to make do. Ready? Put your guesses down, guys. <laughs> I went with the whites. Oh, I'm so happy. You know what's so funny? In my summer wishlist video, so many of you said to get the white over the black because during summer, 
most people wear lighter colors me being one of them i love wearing white during summer i wear a lot of white a lot of light colors and i rarely ever wear black like for the most part i wear white i wear rattan and i just think that white will work with way more of my wardrobe like i've always thought of that so many of you commented that you would vote for white so white actually got more votes than black that kind of like confirmed what i was thinking even though when i was in the shop i was thinking oh just get the black you'll you know black will match your chanel bag it's just more practical but then i was thinking like once i put them on my feet the white looked so much better than the black that, like there was no conversation like once i put it on my feet i was like yeah okay i'm getting the white I still want the black pair, maybe next time. They're so much more affordable to buy here than they are in the UK. So in the UK, these brands are currently 570 pounds. Here, they're 565 euro, but then you also get about 12% back with the VAT. So if you don't know how the VAT process works, I feel like the sensor lights are tripping because I've held the door open, but you basically pay and then they'll give you a form to fill Make sure there's nothing personal on here. Yeah, they'll give you a form and then you basically scan the form at the airport and that's how you get your tax back. So I'm going to get 68 euros back by the time they've like taken all their fees away and everything. So in the end, I would have paid like 495 euro for these shoes, which works out to be about maybe 470 euro maybe. So it's a significant saving. So I need to make sure I don't get rid of this. And the um, shop assistant Adam met was really, really nice. He gave me his card and he said that I could let him know if I'm ever back in Portugal or Lisbon. I told him I might potentially be coming back later in the year for a friend's birthday, if that all goes according to plan. So yeah, one thing I'm really, I really want to tell you guys is that I made my decision so fast and if you know me, you know that's a big deal. I thought I was going to be there going back and forth for ages, but I was like, no, once I put them on my feet, I was like, the white is the white pair for me. Trust your gut, don't start going back and forth. And that's what I did. And I'm very, very proud of myself. Correction, turns out this room is not completely private. <laughs> Someone actually just tried to come in, so that's how I found out. So I have to make sure that all of my valuable things are actually in the locker, which is a little bit stressful. I guess I should put my slippers on now because they are brand new. I think that should be okay. Okay, let's go. the sauna okay that's the shower it's nice <laughs> it's not hot though I thought it was gonna be actually I knew it wasn't hot because my friends already told me it wasn't hot it's quite nice I put on my face mask face mask amazing and I have it all to myself which is lovely I'm actually wishing I had booked a massage now to read. I haven't read a book in such a long time. I've got Take a Hint by Danny Brown. The Things We Leave Unfinished I think is a thriller. I don't know if I have the capacity for a thriller. And then I have Honey and Spice. So many books I've just never finished reading. Spa. I'm still at the hotel, although I was gonna have dinner at the hotel, but now I'm thinking I should actually go to the airport. If I head to the airport now, I should be there for seven, and then I have like three hours until my flight. I still need to check in, I still need to do my VAT stuff. I don't know if that should take a long time to be honest, but I think I'm gonna go. Let me just, I know myself, I'd rather be at the airport waiting than be waiting here. So, yeah. Say goodbye, I'm gonna head out. Guys, 
I'm still in Portugal. Ugh, I couldn't even vlog yesterday. I was so upset. And you know when you're so angry that like you want to cry but you can't even cry? That's honestly how upset I was yesterday. You guys would have seen, I got to the airport in more than enough time. I was actually early. My plan was to check in, sit in the lounge and edit. I got to the check-in desk. They told me that I didn't have a flight. They told me that my ticket had been canceled, even though I have confirmation that my ticket, my return flight was still valid. Even though EasyJet had only refunded me for my outgoing flight and literally sent me written confirmation that I still had a return flight. They told me that my flight had been canceled. I went to the ticket desk. I called EasyJet for over an hour. I was literally in the airport just like sitting like what in the world am I supposed to do because at the time of the evening that it was there were no more flights to London from Lisbon so it wasn't even a case where like I could do anything and EasyJet told me that they couldn't even put me on that flight if they wanted to because it was fully booked so I had literally nothing to do other than come to an airport hotel and try and get a flight the next day and that's exactly what I did I was sitting in this like cafe on the phone to EasyJet, just so upset. So it was two hours by the time I got here. So I just went on booking.com, searched for Lisbon Airport Hotels. Um, this is the Radisson. It's actually a really like decent room. It was quite cheap because I think it was like a last minute availability thing. And um, I couldn't even book a flight on British Airways because there was something wrong with their website. Apparently they've been having like global IT issues, so something wrong with the website, something wrong with the app. So I had to call their emergency line, which is like, you know, for people that are traveling within, I think, 24 hours or something. So I had to buy a new flight. My flight leaves at 7, it's 4.30, and I'm five minutes away from the airport. I really do not want this to dampen my trip because I've had such a great time, but I am never in my life flying EasyJet again. Never. Never, ever, ever, ever. Even when I was talking to the lady on the phone, I'm like, why can't you just reissue me a, a flight for tomorrow? Why do I have to come out of my pocket and spend more money? Like, this is insane. And the one benefit of this whole thing has really, really taught me is to make sure that you have a credit card. Honestly, like, I don't like want to give financial advice but imagine if i was traveling with like a debit card and a finite amount of money and all of these things have happened it's just ridiculous and at least with my credit card i have some protection if easyjet doesn't reimburse me because i'm literally claiming for all of this like nonsense i'm claiming for all of it but it's just it's ridiculous let me quickly show you the room and then i'll call my neighbor but this is the room this is the bathroom. It's actually a lot bigger than the room I was in before. Um, toilet, I'm not gonna show it to you because there's nothing really, it's, I can't be bothered. Two sinks, pretty big, got a tub. Shower was all right, not that bad. This airport hotel is honestly um, not bad. I think yesterday I was just in a really bad mood so I just didn't really appreciate it, but it's actually really, really big. And it's really dark, guys. I'm gonna check in with you guys when I get to the airport. Okay, so I'm at the airport. I actually have a flight. And I'm trying to get a bottle of gin for Evan. I wanted to get him some gin as a gift. I feel like he would... I feel like this is cute because he's obviously obsessed with golf. But at the same time, I don't know if it's actually good gin or not. I found this list that has the best Portuguese gin. So there's Templis, Sharshish, Tinto. Okay, they've got Tinto. This one was actually on the list. Tinto, what they say about Tinto? Tinto is a red gin that comes from Portugal's minor region. Locally grown ingredients like dill, blackberry, rosemary, and poppy are infused with flavor. I think that looks good. It's actually something different. I'm gonna check another list and then I'll decide if I can if I can get some consistency because there's no one here to help. I think it's so early. All right, I'm gonna go with the Tinto one. Seems to be the best. I feel like this Gin Lovers one, I looked it up and it's just the name of a restaurant here. So I don't know that it's actually good gin. We'll see if it's any good when we get to London. <laughs> These are the only ones I like, but I feel like they're not very me. I don't know if you can see better a little bit. I don't really 
like these. Lean ones, but I don't like that you can see my eyes through them. Hey guys, <laughs> I'm back home as you can see. Um, I didn't vlog when I got home yesterday. I was so tired. I had so much to do. I had to get the vlog ready to go up. I had so much laundry to do, so much cleaning to do. Just like the usual, you know, when you're back from a holiday. And I just remember that I never closed out the vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I got up to in Lisbon. It was a really short trip. So I feel like there's probably so much more stuff that you could potentially do that we didn't get around to doing. Even for us, we planned so many things that we didn't get around to doing. So if you want to see some other places that we had looked into, or Melody had really looked into, she's like so great at finding good restaurants and bars and stuff. I'll link everything that we wanted to do in the description box and then all the places that we actually did end up going to and the tours that we booked and everything so that if you're planning on going to Portugal, you can kind of use those as a starting point to plan your trip. I love Portugal. The people are so lovely. The weather is amazing. The food and the transportation are actually really, really affordable especially the transportation like I've never ever in my life paid I don't want to say so little but paid this kind of prices for Ubers in Europe like it was amazing I would absolutely love to go back I potentially will be going back at some point if my other trip doesn't get moved or changed at some point but yeah I just hope you guys enjoyed the vlog if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up it really 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 helps to support my channel I'm heading out to Pilates right now hence the outfit and hence the headphones let me show you because I feel like this outfit is so tonal and I'm so excited about it <laughs> let me show you my full outfit like this has nothing to do with the vlog but anyway you can still see like the heaps of laundry on my bed I've done like four loads of laundry and I still have at least like three more to do actually those are clean clothes let's just put those away but yeah I have some returns to send back like there's a whole thing but anyway this is my outfit I just think it's really I'm a Pilates babe <laughs> Oh gosh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it guys. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. I upload vlogs every single week. So if you like vlogs, I think you'll like it here. If you like fashion, beauty, lifestyle, micro locks, I think you'll like it here. I really appreciate you guys for all your support on my channel. And I will catch you guys in my next one very soon. Bye. <laughs>